Hi, I'm Brad Kamarmi. I'm an engineer here at Max Pro Technologies, and I'm standing next to a um, 60,000 psi hydrostatic burst unit. The system features a vertical control cabinet and is an entirely automated system via the touchscreen here. The system is actually built as two separate components. You have the test chamber and the control cabinet here. Um, all the panels are removable. Once you remove the panel, we've inc included a few gauges and control valves here, and these are strictly for maintenance purposes. Um, you should never have to use them during normal operation. The system has two locking pins that will enable you to remove the burst unit from the control cabinet, and this will come in really handy if you need to rebuild the pumps or anything of that nature. Um, it's built around three Maximator pumps, which you can see here on the lower unit. And both the control cabinet and the test chamber have forklift pockets built internal and internally for ease of installation. We've incorporated some really innovative features on this unit. Um, the vertical test chamber features a sliding door, which is counterweighted for ease of opening and closing. Um, there's an adjustable shelf internal to the chamber that can be moved up or down to support the test piece. And we have a light that's controlled here on the touch screen uh, for ease of viewing in the chamber. When you first turn the unit on, it'll open to the home screen. And you can see it's, it's pretty intuitive as to what the buttons do. Um, you have real-time trending of the pressure curve, a start button, a hold button, and a stop button, as well as your real-time pressure and peak pressure. Um, the recipe information is up here in the corner. To start your test, you would simply click on the recipe screen, and you have the ability to set up to five different ramp and hold rates to a maximum pressure of 60,000. Once you've entered your test parameter in there, click back on the home screen, and simply hit start. You can see on the graph here that the pressure is being trended in real time as it goes along. So for the example of this test, we have a 2500 PSI ramp and hold. Once you hit that first hold point, it'll ask for an acknowledgement before taking you to the next pressure step. We've now reached the final test pressure of 7,500 PSI. And we've entered the dwell portion of the test. Along the bottom of the screen, you'll see a status bar, which gives information about the system and the test that you're running. Um, we're in the second dwell, the set point, how much time we have remaining, the door is closed, and we are not logging the data. Um, when the test is over, you simply hit acknowledge to end the test. This system is really capable of any pressure testing application you have up to 60,000, but it's also pretty specific to our customers' needs. Um, we'd be happy to work with you and design a system for your needs. Please contact one of our engineers today.